Because the Amazon is so vast, the fruit can be found growing in the countries of Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, and Bolivia. People native to the region have long made use of the fruit. They are harvested directly onto no boats. In recent times, international demand has led to cultivation on a bigger scale. Fun fact, Japan is the major international buyer of this fruit. Hello, welcome to Ria's Talk. If you're new here, I hope you enjoyed this video enough to check out my previous ones. And if you're a returning guest, welcome once again. Before I start today's topic, I just want to do a quick survey. How many of you have heard of Camu Camu? If you have, let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't, no worries, let's change that, shall we? Around late 2020, Camu Camu became sort of a health buzz. But what exactly is it, you might be asking. So strictly speaking, Camu Camu or Kakari, even going by a few other names, is a small bushy plant species that grows in the Amazon rainforest. However, when speaking about it as a food on regarding health and nutrition, it's most likely in regard to the Camu Camu fruit that the plant produces. The fruit is purplish black or maroon in color. It can taste acidic and many consider this berry too sour or bitter when eaten raw. It can look like a cherry color wise and it's small like typical berries of which it is. Because the Amazon is so vast, the fruit can be found growing in the countries of Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil and Bolivia. People native to the region have long made use of the fruit. They are harvested directly onto canoe boats. In recent times, international demand has led to cultivation on a bigger scale. Fun fact, Japan is the major international buyer of this fruit. But what's all the halubalu about? What's so interesting about this particular fruit? Well, straight off the bat, it's packed to the brim with nutrients and is a gold mine of antioxidants. Among the plethora of beneficial contents are valine, potassium, leucine, serine, flavonoids, garlic, and ellagic acid. Let's look at them one by one. The amino acid valine is listed as an essential amino acid with regards to the human body. This means we must get it from our food as we lack the natural ability to make it ourselves. It is very important for the brain, nerves, and muscles. Potassium, which most people associate with bananas, are required by our hearts and kidneys. Besides bananas, Camu Camu is also a good source for it. Leucine and serine are both amino acids that our bodies require too. Leucine for the benefit of bone and muscle tissue, as well as for the body's synthesis of growth hormones. While serine aids in our body's digestion of food by, for one thing, helping break down proteins. Both garlic and ellagic acid are antioxidants, which are great for our bodies as they neutralize harmful free radicals. However, they each have other benefits as well, with garlic acid also having antiviral and antifungal abilities and ellagic acid possibly having anti-cancer and anti-diabetic effects, though research on this is still in the early stages. Ellagic acid may also have anti-inflammatory effects. Coming to flavonoids, which some of you may remember me mentioning in previous videos, Camu Camu fruits have a whole assortment of them. These flavonoids with their antioxidant properties also reduce the free radicals in our bodies, which are known to damage cells. Another powerful anti-inflammatory and the vitamin people are probably most familiar with that's also present in Camu Camu berries is none other than the famous and, dare I say, even legendary vitamin C. Camu Camu is so packed with beneficiary contents that in just one teaspoon of raw fruit flesh or juice, one can find 2.4 times the average daily requirement of vitamin C, a gram of fiber, 3 gram of carbs, no fat and only 10 calories. To go into more detail, in 100 grams of fresh Camu Camu berries, one can find 1.1 grams of dietary fiber, 0.2 milligrams of both copper and zinc, 0.53 mg of iron, 83.9 mg of potassium, 0.2 grams of fat, 0.4 grams of protein, and a cumulated total of 7.82 grams of carbohydrates, sugars, and starches. Not to forget 15.7 mg of calcium, 12.4 and 2.1 mg of magnesium and manganese respectively, and 11.1 mg of sodium. 
but certainly its most astonishingly high content is in the vitamin C department with between 1,882 and 2,280 milligrams in each 100 grams of camel camel berries. While this fruit certainly has its fair share of benefits, like I always say, moderation is key. In this case, we need to focus especially on vitamin C, which while being great for our bodies, is not great when taken in excessive amounts and can lead to negative health issues. Nowadays, camel camel is commonly used to make juice, which has a strikingly pink colour. Sugar is often added, but only in small quantities, similar to the proportion in lemonade. It's even been used in ice creams and sweets. Furthermore, the pulp can now be found in powder or capsule form in the Western world. That brings us close to the end of today's video. I honestly hope you have enjoyed the facts and details on this beautiful berry I've gathered and listed here today. Before I say goodbye for now, I would like to thank all of my subscribers. Again, like in some previous videos of mine, I implore you to leave your feedback in the comment section below. This channel could not be what it is without you, the viewers, so thank you. Stay safe everyone. Au revoir.